System administrators are critical parts of almost every organization. In this video, we will go over what system administrators do, the job market for system administrators, what kind of money they make, and the top industries and metro areas. Coming up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here with CareerWatch, where we help you with your career search. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. And if you enjoy this video, hit that like button to support this channel. System administrators are responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of computer networks. They organize, install, and support an organization's computer systems. They manage local area networks, intranets, network segments, servers, desktops, and mobile equipment. System administrators ensure that email and data storage networks work properly. Often, they participate in decisions about purchasing hardware and software. To become a system administrator, you typically need a bachelor's degree in computer science or a related field. There are people out there that become system admins without a degree, but this is much more challenging. Next, let's take a look at the historical job market for system administrators. In the year 1999, the government recorded 204,680 jobs for system admins. The number of jobs wasn't really affected by the Great Recession around 2008. The number of jobs did recede a little, but recently from 2016 to 2018. By the year 2018, the government recorded 366,250 jobs for system admins. So over a 20 year time period, the number of jobs rose by 161,570 jobs. This next chart is showing the unemployment rate of system admins over the past 20 years. This chart looks much more volatile. The unemployment rate for system admins hit a high of 6% in 2002 after the dot-com burst and a second high of 7% in 2009 during the Great Recession. Since then, the unemployment rate has been falling. Recently in 2018, unemployment has been hovering around 2%. The government is modestly optimistic regarding the future job growth of sysadmins. Healthcare is utilizing IT more and more, and this will lead to a greater number of sysadmins. But one threat to sysadmin jobs is cloud computing. Cloud computing could raise the productivity of sysadmins, resulting in fewer of them. This is pretty controversial and debatable. We will see over the next couple of years whether cloud computing will disrupt the number of jobs for system admins. This next chart is showing the anticipated job growth of sysadmins in other similar occupations. The government is predicting an addition of about 11,000 sysadmin jobs over the next 10 years. This is more than database admins, but it is far less than, say, software developers. Next, let's take a look at what sysadmins have earned over the past 20 years. In 1989, the average base salary for a sysadmin was about $50,000. By the year 2018, this national base salary had risen to about $92,000. So wages rose for sysadmins by about $42,000 over a period of 20 years. Next, let's take a look at how the 2018 pay breaks down across different system admins. A lot of people would say that the starting salary would be anywhere between the 0th and 25th percentile for pay, so this would be between you know, a little under $51,000 a year and up to the 25th percentile, which is about 64,000. But how much do the top 10% of system admins earn? They start at around $131,000 and go up from there. Finally, let's take a look at the highest paying metro areas for system admins. The average salary is around $92,000 per year, but certain metro areas pay much more than this. So here are five areas that pay system admins much more money. Number five on the list is the nation's capital in the Northeast Corridor. It is the Washington DC metro area where the average system admin earns about 102,000 per year. Next, we are heading Northeast to a metro area kind of close to New York City. We're headed to Bridgeport, Connecticut, where a lot of hedge fund managers work. System, the average system admin in Bridgeport is around 103,000 per year. Next, we're headed to the West Coast. We're headed to San Francisco. You would think this would be number one on this list, but it's actually number three. The average sysadmin in the San Francisco Bay Area earns about 105,000 per year. Next, we're heading back to the East Coast, and this one really surprised me. Uh, number two on the list is Baltimore, Maryland, where the average sysadmin earns about 111,000 per year. And the number one metro on my list, we're headed back to the West Coast, we are headed to San Jose, California, close to or inside of Silicon Valley. The average system admin in San Jose earns about 116,000 per year. Are you interested in becoming a system administrator? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.